changing the vehicle type in Google Maps. Honestly, it's one of those things that seems buried in plain sight. Google doesn't exactly make it obvious, but when you figure it out, you'll wonder why it felt so hidden. First, open Google Maps. This might seem like step zero, but hey, we've all been there, trying to make a tech adjustment without even launching the app. So open it and make sure you're logged into your account. Once you've input your destination, pay attention to the route options. At the top of the screen, you'll see icons for driving, public transit, cycling, and walking. The vehicle types are connected to these modes. Now here's where people trip up. If you're trying to adjust your car icon to match your real vehicle, this only works after you're in navigation mode. You've got to hit start to begin turn-by-turn -turn directions. From there, you'll see the little blue arrow which represents your car by default. Tap on that arrow. A menu will pop up. It's subtle but obvious once you know where to look. Google really could label this better. In that menu, you'll find several vehicle icons to choose from, a car, an SUV, a van, or even a truck. It's not customization on the level of Forza, but hey, it personalizes your map just a bit. Here's a pro tip. This feature doesn't just make your map look cool. It can help differentiate your route visually if you're sharing the screen with someone else's nav. Tiny detail, big payoff in group travel. If you're switching to a bike or public transport, it's even easier. Simply click the respective icon back at the top of the route selection screen, and Google will serve transit-specific options. No manual tweaking necessary. Common pain point. People often expect Google Maps to save their vehicle type preference, but it doesn't. You'll need to reselect your favorite icon each time you start a new trip. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. For Portland cyclists, here's a bonus. When switching to bike mode, Maps actually factors in bike lanes and elevation. Thank the cycling gods, this city loves its bikes, and Google knows it. Still double check for real-time closures. If you didn't see some of these features, it might be a software version issue. Always keep the Google Maps app updated. Older versions might not have the latest nav options or icon features. And, like, if we're being real, you could go your whole life without changing any vehicle settings in Google Maps. But the point is, these small tweaks can add a layer of convenience, like an ergonomic chair for your digital commute. So there you have it. Adjusting your vehicle type in Google Maps is simple once you know where to look. It's not going to revolutionize your experience, but small wins like this add up over time.